All right, so today I've got this product to test out. Now, this is a uh, microphone from a company called Thronmax. Now, I do want to mention that they did send me this uh, this product free of charge, but they're not paying me for this review. So it is still my honest opinion. It's just, here's a free product, give it a review, and well, yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically, this company specializes in making really good high quality microphones and as you can tell from the box already you know it's a very nicely boxed product the image on the actual box looks very promising too so i'm really excited to get this cracked open and well give it a good test but before we do that i just want to show you a few things uh, a few features of the microphone as indicated on the box itself now on the back side of the box, they talk about all the different features it has. One of them is their VertiGain technology, which is sound enhancing acoustic chamber patent pending. So that's quite interesting. Not entirely sure exactly what it is, but um, hey, it sounds pretty cool. And then, you know, you've got mounting screws, control for mic gain and headphone volume different recording patterns. So this is one of the actual main features of this microphone, depending on what you're actually recording, you can change the mode to fit that, uh, to fit the situation. So definitely want to be given that a good test. Um, it's got nice little LED lights. It connects via USB type C, it's plug and play. Uh, and it's also got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack as well. So all sounds pretty good. Let's crack it open. It looks fantastic. Let's give it a good test. So straight out of the box, you have your uh, 12 month warranty. Always good when a company gives you warranty. It means that they believe in their product. Uh, a few stickers of the actual company's logo. So, you know, you might want to stick that on the microphone itself if you wish or anywhere you like. Uh, this is basically the instruction card or instruction manual on a nice bit of thick paper that, you know, gives you all the instructions you need. And if we take out this foam, let me just pull out this box here. Take out the foam and woo, here is the microphone itself. So let's move the box away. That's the microphone, and inside here, I'm assuming, is the USB Type-C cable. So, we'll have a look at that in a second. Microphones, first impressions, as you can probably tell just from this video, it's very highly, uh, high quality build. All metallic, it's got this nice sort of space gray sort of uh, color. You can get it in uh, black as well. This particular one is space gray. Um, you know, it's got the nice company logo, dials here to control the gain and volume of the mic. You got uh, on the back side or the front side even, uh, a mute button, all the different uh, recording modes. So I'll go into them a bit more in detail later on. And on the back side of the actual mic, you have the mounting screw. So you can actually put this on a mic stand or whatever it might be. A auxiliary jack, the LED button, so you know, to light up the LED and of course the USB type C connector. So that's everything about the microphone, all the different ports you have a port at the front here, well, a grill at the front here where you can speak into and also one that goes all the way 360 and that comes back to the different recording modes which I'll go into a bit later. So, this is the Type-C, USB Type-C cable. Now, this cable is uh, braided, it's very high quality and let me just point out one little detail about it. You've got these little plastic caps on the actual USB ports. Now, Obviously, it's not necessary to have, but it shows a, a level of care this company has gone to in their product. And that, to me, is a, big, is a big deal because when a company goes so far to putting protector caps on the USB cable, it shows that they're all about high quality. And that's what I like to see in any high quality product. So really good stuff. And the cable is absolutely fantastic. I mean, if you could feel how tough this cable, if only Apple could make their charging cables as good as this, that's a direct uh, <laughs> call out to Apple there. You know, this cable is very tough, very rugged, and it's it looks beautiful as well. So, you know, you've got a nice little Velcro strap here to keep it all wrapped up really nicely made. So how about we plug in this microphone, the Thronmax M-Drill 1, I believe it's called, uh, microphone, and give it a good test. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to be using my MacBook Pro. Oh. Jeez, it's a heavy machine. <laughs> we'll be using this uh, MacBook right here as the 
computer to record on. So let's boot it up. Right, so let's unravel this cable like so. It's a very long cable as well. I'm not entirely sure how long, but it's definitely long enough, you know, well, you can see how long it is. I mean, it's probably two meters, I'm gonna guess, or 1.5 meters around that. So it's a very long cable, which is nice to have because there's nothing worse than having a short cable and you've got to buy a, an extension for it and all that. It's just, just give me a long cable to begin with, you know? So very nice. Plugs in nice and easily. Also, you're probably wondering, there's a mounting screw at the back, but you have this, you know, you have this sort of uh, stand that comes with it. Don't worry, you can actually unscrew the mic, just like so. It's just two screws on either side, really easily made. You can unscrew it, and once you have unscrewed it, you can use it as a standalone mic, which you can mount on a, uh, what do you call it, on a, on a, uh, <laughs> words have failed me right now, on a mic stand and or you, can, you, know, you can even mount it onto your studio or however you, whatever setup you have. So it's very versatile. Don't worry about if this is gonna put you off because this looks very podcast-like. It's good to have, but it's not necessary as well. So, but for this test, I am actually gonna keep it on its little stand and straight away it's plug and play. You don't need to download any additional drivers. You don't need to install any software. It's quite literally plug and play. I've tested it on a, uh, on a, on a Windows laptop as well and it works absolutely fine. It took about 10 seconds and then it was ready. And literally it works with any program as well. It always pops up. There's no issues like that. So that was quite nice and refreshing. And you can see already the light has come on look at that and you can change the different colors of the light where's the button here we go you got all these different colors you can go oh that's nice so there's a bunch of different colors to set whichever mood you like i like that turquoise color that one right there that's a nice color a nice light blue all right so let's get it cracking straight away you can see it's set on now let's see what mode it's set on i'm going to grab the little card that came with it currently it is set on cardioid cardioid which is basically for streaming podcasts uh, voiceovers and instruments and it only records from this part here so this is switched off and only the front part the top part even will actually be recording so let's go ahead and try a podcast style recording for this setting so Okay, so how about we give it a test right now? So I'm gonna turn down the volume and all that, the gain. Okay, so I don't... Okay, so I just really had it off. <laughs> so this is it off. Obviously you won't be able to hear me, but if I turn it up ever so slightly, I don't know what kind of level would be good, maybe about here, hard to tell. But yeah, this is made for you know, streaming podcasts, voiceovers and instruments. So of course you're not gonna be speaking directly into it. You're probably gonna have it maybe about there, kind of facing in whichever direction the sound is coming from. And you're probably gonna be talking about this sort of level. And uh, yeah, you'll just be chatting away really. Now I have no clue how this is gonna sound. Hopefully it's not gonna be, I don't know if I've got it too high up. I'm gonna turn it a bit higher up. Maybe you can see when. So this is that maximum right now. It probably doesn't sound very good. But if I turn it down, you'll probably tell where was the optimal. Test, test, test. So I'll say it probably about there, maybe. Hard to tell. But yeah, so this is, you know, voiceovers. If you're doing voiceover work, something like Plug USB Type-C connector to your microphone. Plug the other end of Type-C cable to the device you want to connect. I don't know, maybe that came out well, I have no clue. Okay, so that was the cardioid test. Uh, obviously you would have heard it live because I would have edited it in post. I have no clue how it sounded, uh, so I'm just gonna go with it. The next setting is stereo, stereo. So I've just switched it to stereo. And this basically, if this is the front of the mic, this is coming from here and left and right. Okay, so here and left and right. Now this would be used for vocals if you're, you know, singing, uh, you know, vocals and instruments as well, which kind of makes sense. Um, so hard to, I don't have any instruments with me. Uh, <laughs> 
Actually, I might have an instrument. Let me check. Okay, so uh, I just picked up a ukulele <laughs> for this review. So we're doing stereo. So this is coming from here and there, there, there. So it's coming from three different points. Yeah, it's coming from there, there, and there. And apparently it's made for instruments as well. So let's give it a good test. All right. Again, I'm going to play with the gain. I don't know how good... Is that turning it up? That's test, 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 test. Maybe that's good. Now I can't actually play, uh, <laughs> so you know, forgive me. I, I literally don't know how to play. It's really out of tune, even I can tell that. I'm the most unmusical person in the world, but just imagine this is a good sound. And someone singing along, going... Wah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh my god, I should not be on YouTube doing this. What? <laughs> That's enough of my musical talent. Let's give it a test. So the next mode is bi-directional, which is basically top and bottom. Or, yeah, top and bottom. So from here and here, if that makes sense. Like that. So let's switch it to bi-directional. Oh, there we go. And this is for interviews, which kind of makes sense. You'll have the mic in the middle here, and then you'll have the interviewer or the interviewee uh, there. And you know, you guys will be talking and that kind of makes sense. And also for instruments and vocal duets, again, makes sense. You know, if you've got the mic hanging, you have one person here, you know, one person here, one person where I am, and you can both sing into the microphone. So that makes perfect sense. Again, we'll give it a good test. I'm going to use instruments a bit again. I do apologize in advance for using the instrument, but yeah, so imagine if the mic's there, we're now recording, and you're going to be doing a bit of musical work. Blah, 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 blah. This is. How do people play this? Seriously? <laughs> this is. How? This is like. It's just not natural to play. I mean, I, I've got to give a lot of respect for anyone who knows how to play the guitar or the ukulele because this is not easy. I mean, <laughs> I, I know like one or two chords, but it's so out of tune. I, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to pretend I know what I'm doing. But anyway, that should be a good test of the mic. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell any difference because this is recording from the same direction as it was recording before, pretty much. So... But yeah, that was the test. Okay, and last is, whoops, omnidirectional mode. So I just switched it into omnidirectional mode. And that is basically sound everywhere. So it's coming from the top and 360 all around the actual mic. So this is made for conference calls and events, which is again, self-explanatory. You know, you pop it in the middle of the desk and no matter where someone is uh, sitting or where the sound is coming from, we'll be able to pick it up exactly the same because well, it's recording 360. So let's give that a test. Hit record. Right, so now we're recording the omnidirectional mode. Now, if I actually start twisting the microphone around, it shouldn't really make a difference to the sound because you should be able to hear it uh, wherever the sound is coming from. It should be able to pick it up exactly the same. So as you can see, I'm twisting the microphone around and it is probably sounding exactly the same. Now that's omnidirectional mode. Again, that's used for conference calls and events. So there you have it. So what are my uh, what are my thoughts of this microphone? What's my verdict? I have had a listen to the sound quality uh, of what I just recorded, and it does sound really crystal clear. I probably should have spent a bit more time getting the gain exactly right, uh, but these are you know these are things that are self-explanatory. It all depends, uh, you know. 
all depends on what you're recording, how far away you are, etc. So you do want to play around with the game. I would suggest maybe a decent uh, recording software if you are going to be a professional voiceover artist or or be recording something professionally, I would recommend having decent software where you can really see the spikes of the sound uh, that you know is coming in live so you can get the game perfect. But apart from that, um, you know, spend a bit of time setting it up properly and you have an absolutely exceptional mic. The modes work exactly as advertised. Um, it, it, it's, it's brilliant quality. I mean, it's just the rubber at the bottom, it looks fantastic. It's a 10 out of 10 microphone, that's my verdict. I really can't in any way, shape or form say anything bad about it, to be honest, because it does what it says on the tin and it does it properly. It does it really high quality and that's really what you want from a microphone. And it's not, you know, ridiculously expensive either. There are many more expensive microphones and this blows them out the water as well. So yeah, I've really got to say thumbs up to Thron Max for making this microphone really top-notch stuff i will leave a link to it in the description below go ahead check them out go pick one up if you need a decent microphone whether it's for gaming podcasts or if you're a musician or a voiceover artist or something of that nature go ahead you won't you won't uh you won't find anything better than this it does also come actually with a uh foam shield as well which i didn't actually test i'm quite quite embarrassed about that but it does come with like a, a foam shield if that makes sense so you know if you're speaking very closely to it you don't hear the p p you know the sort of pops of of your sound uh, so that's actually quite quite a probably something i should have put on but uh <laughs> never mind you know what a foam shield is it's not it's not the end of the world but yeah Really top-notch stuff. Go ahead, check them out. I think you'll really enjoy this microphone. I think you'll be very impressed. But that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead, leave a like and leave a comment. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon so you never miss any of my new uploads. I've got a lot more stuff to test and review. So I hope you'll stick around and I hope to see you again soon. But that's about it, guys. Once again, thank you for watching. And until next time, feed your mind.